Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Here today with a Louis Vuitton unboxing. Not too sure about it though. I want to unbox it to show you guys and have a chat. I don't quite know if it's going to stay. But first up, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor and that is Havlu. Havlu Co reached out to me because they are a luxury towel company. Hello, and we would like to send you some of our towels. I was like, yes, honey. So this has to be creme de la creme. Look at it, it looks like a Chanel unboxing. They are ranging from 700 GSM to 120 GSM. They have bath sheets, they have face washes, this is a hand towel. Their bath mats are 1200 GSM. They are durable, soft, and fast drying. Yes, please, I have three boys. Okay, princess of the house, but three boys is hard work. The amount of towels and floor mats I go through, the amount of water lake that is on my bathroom floor, fast drying, yes please. Pavluco is free shipping worldwide. It is a 120 day return policy. They offer five year commercial grade warranty. What better could you ask for? Thank you so much to Havluco, the luxury towel company, for being my video sponsor today. I'm gonna leave all the links below to this fantastic luxury towel website. Go and check them out. Okay, moving on to this guy. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox together. Let's share opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you watched my Louis Vuitton uh, shopping vlog, I will leave it below if you haven't. We had a little bit of a kind of run in slash change of mind when I did a ret the return at Van Cleef and Arpels. I then went into the Elizabeth Street pop-up store Louis Vuitton and in that vlog you saw me looking at another bag. So here we have the unboxing of this beautiful handbag which is and it's weird because I think there is two names for it I'm not quite sure. So I think I'm pronouncing this right, not French, Australian, soufflot, soufflot, souffle, it kind of sounds like souffle, but soufflot BB in the monogram. The M44815 is what it is coming up, and this is the BB size. So, in my opinion, straight away it gave me Montaigne vibes, obviously, just in its complete layout, the complete shape. Feet on the bottom, that same kind of feeling. Okay, this is where it does get a little confusing. That is the skew. We've got the soufflot coming up when you search that skew. That is the name of this bag. On the Australian website, you have soufflot as well, BB and MM, but you also have the open handbag in the BB and MM. Either way, they are both the same, same skew, sorry, and they're both the same price. I'm assuming they just changed the name. So this retailed for $3,650. $200 less than the Montaigne BB, and I would roughly say they're around the sort of same size. However, for $4,000, you can get the Montaigne MM. This comes in an MM size. Look, it's relatively similar. You have BB, Montaigne, BB, Soufflet. They're really, really similar, similar in that sense. They're open top handbags with your two top handles and your strap. Why I'm not sure about this handbag is because I feel like the Montaigne is something I let go of and I don't want to say regret, but I feel like it just, I want it in my life, okay? There, there is definitely things about this handbag that I love. It has very similar features to a Montaigne and it, you know, it's very user friendly. The way it opens, the way uh, the magnets work and the center compartment, it reminds me a lot of the Palace, which too, I have the plus. Uh, I will just quickly show you the inside if you're interested. Beautiful microfiber. This is the microfiber in that kind of raisin color that I just adore. So you have two compartments with a slip compartment and they're magnetic, which is very handy. And then you have your double zip 
center compartment, which is huge, absolutely huge. You have your crossbody strap, which is adjustable and detachable inside, very similar to the Montaigne. However, the Montaigne is in canvas, which is quite nice. So you're gonna have less patina. I know I'm relating this all to the Montaigne, but that's what the point of this video is. I wanted to show this to you guys, ask you what you think, you get the gorgeous detail of the little luggage tag on the front there. I think that is really beautiful. The attention to detail with this bag is great. And for the price point, it is good for Louis Vuitton in that kind of category. You have your side little dog ears here. You have your Louis Vuitton stamped on the side there. Every, all the rivets and all of the cornices are riveted just beautifully. You have four feet on the bottom with the cross stitching that's engraved. I mean, impeccable, impeccable. <laughs> But for me, I feel like I'm gonna compare this to a Speedy way too quickly, and I don't think it gives me enough that I want, that I want out of the feeling of wanting the Montaigne back, if that makes sense. I feel like I should just go ahead and do the Montaigne instead. Yes, should I do the BB? Because this is similar to that size. I'm not quite sure, I might just want to do the MM again. It's such a great middle size bag. It's your, you know, Birkin 30. It's that middle size bag that you can get everything in and it's comfortable. These smaller bags, you can get everything in them, but I mean, I have a lot of this kind of size bag. So let me know what you think. This is a gorgeous bag. It really is with the beautiful gussets on the side. It reminds me a lot of the Palace and the beautiful microfiber interior. I definitely recommend if you're looking for a new bag from Louis Vuitton, anything with this interior, is it just screams luxe, okay? I'm so glad they did bags with this. It's just beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you think I'm just repeating myself. Let me know if you've done this in the past where you've bought, sold, bought another bag that's similar to the star when you really should have just gone back for the bag that you kind of regretted selling. Thank you so much to Havlu Co for sponsoring this video. Guys, check them out. These bath towels, I swear. I'm gonna go and wash them right now to put them out for mummy and daddy, not for the toddlers. If you like this video, guys, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Giving us thumbs up on YouTube is so good. It just shows YouTube we're in good standing and making good content. You don't have to comment but you can smash that thumbs up button. That's so good, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below. I would super appreciate that too, guys. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well out there. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace.